Okay, this is video number two on how to take a hot backup of an Oracle database. All right, so first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to insert my first row of data into my table. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hire my girlfriend, whose name is Minka. So insert into employees values Minka. Select asterisk from employees. Oops. Ah! There we go. <laughs> so now, when I select all columns, all, all rows, I'm sorry, all data from the employees table, I see I have a bit of data in my employees table. Minka, I hired my girlfriend, the first employee to my little, to my bank here. And she, and her name has been tracked in my finance database. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a hot backup of my database. Well, how do I do that? Well, my database, but the table spaces in my database need to be in hot backup mode in order for me to take a backup. And how do I determine if my database, if my table spaces are currently are in, are in hot backup mode or not? I type in the following: select asterisk from v dollar sign backup, and you'll see they say not active. This is telling me, okay, select asterisk from v dollar sign backup. This is telling me the not active um, uh, row values are telling me that the table spaces of this database are not in backup mode currently, in hot backup mode currently. And why is there three entries? Well, we can see what, how they correlate by selecting the table space name from the DBA table spaces uh, view. Okay, so these are all the table spaces which make up our database. Again, don't worry about what a table space is if you don't know what it is. Uh, you can tune into so, uh, other videos, Oracle videos I have on YouTube, which focus on table spaces. Um, don't worry about the temp table space for now. That's uh, that that's not really list. There's a reason why that doesn't count. Okay, but don't worry about that right now. But these three table spaces are are the ones that we're worried that we're worried about. And these three entries in the backups table, in the backup t uh, uh, view, I should say, um, all correlate to system, sit socks, and undo. That's what these are, system, sit socks, and undo. So these table spaces are not in backup mode, hot backup mode. That's what it means. Now, I know what you're saying. You're like, well, wait a minute. Didn't we put the database in backup mode? No, we put the database in archive log mode. That's what we did when we shut the database down before. Okay. Now, this when you put a database in archive log mode, that doesn't mean for now on you can just take a hot backup whenever you want. Oh, I put the database in archive log mode. I can just copy the files over whenever. It doesn't matter if the database is up and running at all. No, that's not what it means. Putting a database in archive log mode is a prereq to being able to be able to back up your database hot. But it doesn't mean you can just back up your database hot whenever you want. Okay. To take a hot backup, you must put the table spaces in hot backup mode. But you cannot put the table spaces in the hot backup mode unless the database is in archive log mode. Okay? So there's two there's like a little chain of prereqs there. Okay? You can't take a hot backup unless the table spaces are in backup mode, hot backup mode, and you can't put table spaces in hot backup mode unless the database is in archive log mode. Okay, so to put the tables to, to put the table to put the database in hot backup mode, this is the command you use: alter database begin backup. It says database altered. Now recall the select asterisk from v dollar sign backup view again, which is what you use to determine if the table spaces of the database are in hot backup mode or not. Now they say active. They don't say not active, not active anymore. Because now the table spaces are active. They're in hot backup mode. Okay, so now now that they're in backup mode, we can now safely we're gonna create a directory called backups. Ensure that it created okay now it's empty. It should be. And we're okay to copy only our DBF files. Okay. So we're copying only our DBF files, files that end with 
D, the DBF extension to C colon slash backups. And then notice how we didn't shut down the database. So no, you'll notice two things that are different from a cold database. Number one, we didn't shut down the database first. And number two, we're only backing up the D DBF files, the data files. If you noticed in, in the cold backup video, we shut down the database, the shut down immediate command, and then we just backed up everything, the data files, the control files, the redo logs. But that's not the case here. Okay, so we're only backing up our DBF files. The, sys the sysox, the system, the temp, and the undo. Okay, four files backed up. And if we do DIR backups, we will see here are our, our table, our data files backed up. So now we go back, we log back into the data, the database, which is still the database is still up and running, by the way. Now what we have to do is we're going to take our table spaces out of backup mode. They so see them active, and we do that by typing in alter database and backup, alter database and backup. And you can see they, they, they because we entered that command, the, ta the table spaces are now not in backup mode anymore um, because they say not active. So we're not in backup mode anymore. So don't back up a data file unless its table space is in backup mode. Okay. Now, what we have to do is we're going to do another archive log switch. Which, and if we look in our archive log destination, we will see that the next switch will give us log number 11. So now that the hot, so now the, now that we backed up our data files hot, the next step in our hot backup procedure is we must back up our Oracle. We must do another archive log switch, and that's and that's accomplished with the following command: alter system archive log current. Okay, that's going to switch another archive log for us. And if we do a directory listing of our a, a directory listing of our archive log destination, we will see number eleven. So now the next step to and the, the next and final step to doing a hot backup is to back up our control file. Now you're probably saying, well, can't we just copy the control files with the DOS copy command? No, you got to do a special what we call a binary backup of our control file. And how you take this binary backup of your control file is with the following command: alter database backup control file to c colon backups control back semicolon basically what we what we told oracle here is we just said alter database backup control file to so we said create a binary copy of the control file and put it in c colon slash backups control backup so now when we do a DOS directory list in our backups directory, we will see we have a copy of our DBFs and a copy of our control file backup. Now, we log back into Oracle and we do a select on employee, employee, sorry, and now we're going to have a little fun. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start hiring people that I know personally for my company. I'm going to hire my father first. Insert into employees values um, rich B. Okay, and I'm going to do an alter system archive. I'll explain this in a second. Well, current after I insert my dad's name into this employees table. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hire. My friend Rich, I have a friend named Rich too, and put his name into the employees table, Rich D. And then I'm going to do another alter system archive log current. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hire my friend Mark into my company, put him into my database, into my employees table. Mark D. Now, when, and I'm going to do another, you guessed it, archive log switch. Now, when I do a select from my employees table, I will see 
I have my girlfriend, my dad, and my two friends, Mark and Rich, as employees of my company. They're now in my employees table. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into DOS and I will see all of my archive logs here that I've switched. And they're all in sequence order. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shut down my Oracle database and I'm going to simulate a problem, an error. Okay, we're going to simulate something bad happening, a hard a hard drive error or a com or a computer fail, a complete computer failure or something. Okay, so with our database down, we're going to go ahead and we're going to delete everything in this directory, not our archive logs directory, but all the files here. Um, actually, you know what? Let's do a full. Let's let, let's do the backup correctly. We're going to go to our archive logs directory. And we're going to create an archive logs directory under our backups directory. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to back up our archive log directories. Our archive logs, which are very important, which you'll see, to our backup location. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to delete all of our database files and delete our archive logs. Okay. And... Of course, now, when we try to start up our finance database, it's going to fail when it tries to open the control file. When it gets to the to phase number two of Oracle startup, when it can't find a control file. Error in identifying control file. Shut down a board, because um, our instance is useless. Okay. Now what we do is, we're going to copy from our backups directory the files that we um, that we made while the database is up and running. These are our hot backup files. Okay, I paused the video while the copying was happening. Okay, so now we have copied our hot DBF file, the backups that we took while our database was hot, and we copied it back to our directory. So now what we have to do is we need to rename our binary backup of our control file to what our control file was originally called control01.ctl and what we're going to do is we're going to make two more copies of our control file like so it's basically all I'm doing here is I'm giving the Oracle database what it's expecting it's expecting the it's expecting there to be three identical copies of the control file, and it's expecting them to be called, and it's expecting them to be named control01.ctl, control02.ctl, and control03.ctl. Okay, so if you don't give it what it expects, it's going to fail because what it expects is not are, is it, um is not there. Okay, but now it's there. So now, can we just restart our database? Well. Go ahead and give it a try if you want. I mean, that's what we did before with the cold backup, right? We brought all the files back and did startup and we were back in business. So we should be able to do the same thing. Nah, you're getting an error. Must use reset logs or no reset logs to open database. Alright, well, now we have some problems. Okay, so, first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a startup mount and we're going to do what's called a recovering our database. And please tune in to video number three of this topic to continue.